Hello, welcome to Bobby Bricks and Blocks, and today we'll be comparing the Nintendo console and the Atari console with their controllers. Let's first start off with the controllers. The controllers are probably the more different than the actual consoles. So for the Atari one, the Atari one has some more function with like the movement of the controller. But with this one, it makes you seem like you can press it. Which funnily enough, they have similarities where you use um, two by two um, circular red tiles, which are really cool. I love this two by four printed um, Nintendo logo, really cool. And it, I wish this would be able to move. Honestly, back when the set was made, it should have had some form of way to make that move. We're first going to take a look at the Nintendo console. They play at the adapter that you will plug it into, which are really cool on each side that you were expecting on, on this side, though. But one accuracy a different had that the Atari did not have, which I don't know why you don't have it, because the bedroom didn't take up as much room that where they cannot fit the um, game in with different cam, which is really cool. I really like that feature. In fact, like, you can even move it down or, like, have it stay down and rest where it would. Now, if you want it moved up, it's very easy. I love the printed pieces on here, which they really, as I look to it, Nintendo love to advertise the products a lot on it because on the Atari, there's only, like, one logo. But, like, there's, like, three different logos in this whole entire set, which is very shocking. So that really is about it for the Nintendo one. We're not going to take a look at the Atari. I'm not going to go as in-depth because I already have a review of the whole entire set. If you want to see it, I'll try and put it in the description. Let's take a look at it. Here we have that one little Atari logo I was telling you about. I love the wood aspect of it, and remember, this came out like 10 years before the Nintendo one came down. What I was saying about the bedroom is, if you pull this, a little bedroom comes out, which I would have loved this in the Nintendo set to get something like that. But I feel like um because of the TV, they had to um, maybe not, like, put so much else in there or else they probably would have been in there because it is a really cool concept. Something I do like about this is the moving functions on this one where you can like move these switches which are really cool. And these ones also have their like connection for the controllers and stuff which are really cool. They, you can have the controllers on there. Yeah, it's really about it for the Atari. In fact, like, it, speaking of, like, the Atari's, like, the big thing in its set, honestly, I like all the other stuff that's a little bit more than the actual Atari in that set. I know it sounds shocking, but it's just the way I feel. So that wraps up my comparison of the Atari and Nintendo console. In my opinion, they both are equally as good. But I feel like if I had to really pick one, maybe I'll actually pick the Nintendo one. Like I said, it's a tad bit more accurate, and I love the more smoother side of it. So thank you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, please do, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!